all your melee champs that just heal. Lanes Ari can poke against, but can't land Electric Q. True. True, true, true. I am top lane, yes. Most likely Darius is going to be cheesing, right? That's a quote from you, by the way. Yeah, it's a quote from me because I just said it. Welcome to Summoner's Rift. <clears throat> 30 seconds until you spawn. Uh huh. Pike flush. Darius could walk through here, or he could just walk through lane. <clears throat> I think for him, lane is safer. We have four AP champions. He's actually just walking through lane. Crazy. Oh, did he get a leash? That's why. Caught him, butt side. He's just waiting in this bush. <clears throat> All right. So into this matchup. Uh, generally, whenever he just goes for CS is like the most opportune time to go for your Ws. Uh, like in this situation, like he's gonna look for this cannon, right? So I'm just gonna be zoning him off the cannon. And I'm going to put two points in my W. Right, he's still able to get it, which is completely fine. First but the goal is to bully him off as many ways as possible. Right, so whenever he gets into range like that, we're going to just auto him and then W out of range because we get the movement speed seen. to do so. This is specifically for top matchups, you know? Alright, we're going to bait him into taking this. So he's going to walk up for it, right? That's when we can use Q. He walks up into range, W auto. Perfect. He's looking to get into uh, his W range. That's why he was walking like that. So that's why I didn't auto there. An enemy has been slain. An ally has been slain. I had to keep this wave under tower. Continuously bully him. There's a heck from top side. If he runs in that charm, he's dead. <clears throat> We're going to act like we recalled. So if he doesn't show up during my recall timer, then we will just recall. But if he did, 
If he did show back into lane, we would stop our recall. But this this shows that he actually recalled as well. And because of the way the wave is positioned here, it's actually going to slow push to my side. You see how these minions are going to arrive faster than my minions? So these minions are getting hit faster. And then these back minions are going to live while these ones die. So this is why it's going to create a slow push. <clears throat> Anyone speak Korean? I speak Korean. So now we can force him into a really bad situation where he can't break the freeze. He went magic and null mantle. He has a control word. An enemy has been slain. An ally has been slain. I'm just gonna keep freezing this. Right, so Darius goes for the roam. While the wave is in a really bad spot like this. <clears throat> so what did Darius get? He got a death. <laughs> That's what he got. Alright. So because of that, not only did he lose all these minions, he lost like three waves. Right? He's still dead. He doesn't have TP. Why would you ever go for that play? <clears throat> So now I'm going to be up extremely heavily in CS. <clears throat> and he dies, he's tilted. Yeah, he just went for that play and then just died. So what's going to happen? He comes back to lane. He's level 5. The wave is still towards my side. This is going to slow push eventually. But for right now, it's still uh, towards my side, which is really good. <clears throat> But look at the CS. Look at the CS difference. 16 to 47. This is what you call a coin flip roam here, guys. But there's not really much he can do for that wave besides sacrificing his resource to break the freeze. Other than that, he just needed his jungler to come. I think he's just waiting in the bush. I think he is actually just waiting in the bush. Is not. <clears throat> so he's still not here. Uh, he could just be waiting in topside bush. Could be here. Has been slain. Kill. I don't know what he just came back from. He just did the, the enemy red buff. He just did red buff. No way. <clears throat> he took his jungler's red. <laughs> you see how easy this game is to just manipulate? <clears throat> Here he's extremely tilted. <clears throat> Can't go for any CS. Okay, he's dead. Oh, 1 HP. Got some sort of healing. Pots, he had a refillable. And Doran Shield. Lucky, lucky, lucky. <clears throat> so here he's resetting. He had red buff too, so he had a little bit of additional HP. <clears throat> Since he's already recalling, I'm gonna take a play and this wave. Enemy double kill. Does he actually chase me? I'm gonna risk it. I'm just gonna recall. Comes back, he has Merc Treads. It's perfectly fine. Clear this wave. <clears throat> so as you can see, the CS right now is 30 to 80. So if you do play RE top, RE top is very similar to like a lot of lane bullies. You just have to play it correctly. 
And like a lot of the times, like I wouldn't recommend running Ignite, but I'm just greedy. I'm just a greedy fuck. <clears throat> but RA top is like a very good pick to like. Oh, he put a control word down somewhere, right? You do not go for these kinds of roams ever. So pushing this doesn't do anything for me, so I'm going to slow push it. The reason why is because if I push this cannon to the tower, Darius is going to be able to pick up that cannon, right? But if I let it slow push, you see how all three of these melee minions have died, right? While he was roaming. All three of the melee minions have died, and so he wasn't able to get the EXP for that. Oh. He looks extremely tilted. He looks like he's typing to his jungler. <laughs> okay, Darius is up here. Gotta pick up this fruit snack if they didn't. He still has flash, so I should be careful. Uh, he could kill me technically. Could be in this bush. I don't know. From just how they've been playing, I don't think they're really capable of making uh, cheese plays with bushes. It just seems like they're kind of, yeah, like, what is this guy doing? He's probably extremely tilted that he's playing against an RA top. So if you guys are mechanically good enough to play RA top, I would highly recommend to do so because she has a lot of good melee matchups. Like, she wins almost every melee matchup. Mainly because. Uh, Airy. Airy plus Scorch early game is just extremely good. Oh, I made a misplay. He ghosted too. I stayed for an extra auto. I shouldn't have. I got greedy because I got I had my ulti coming up, so I was like, I'll just go for it. Mistake, mistake. We're still up double CS. Up fifty. Up sixty CS actually. Kali TP top. Nine hundred smites. Nine hundred smites. Smite. Why do you wait so long? Ooh, Pike no ulti. Goodbye, Pike. Well played team. It looks like Tristana's going top lane, so I will just go bot. Oh. Raven thumbs. We'll see if he has any summoners. He doesn't have mana. Okay, there's his exhaust. So this is why it's important to know summoners, because like if he has exhaust there, like I need to know that. All right, because I, I space it out, so it's like not as bad. But in some cases, that will make the difference, and it'll be pretty bad. I'm actually gonna sell my uh, Dorns. I'm gonna sell my Dorns here, just to get. Uh, that quick Leandri power spike. Not optimal, but I like Leandri's, and Leandri's recently has been super fun to play. <clears throat> so if you guys are wondering what build I've been going, as you can see, this is the skill order. Uh, I put three points. So skill order varies based on like what your situation is, but generally you'll put um, you'll max W, and then put three points into Q at some point. All right. So that's like generally what will happen and the reason for it is because if you look if we take Leandris, we put three skill points into into q you see how it clears the back wave because of the burn you don't need you don't need all your skill points into q for wave clear all right darius bot lane that's fine i take this tower Enemy triple 
enemy triple kill. So this is why I specifically like this build is because when you Q max, Q doesn't actually reduce in cooldown when you max it. When you level it up, it doesn't reduce in cooldown, but your W does. So as you can see right now, 3.57 seconds on uh, W. I'm coming in. This guy's dead. Goodbye, good sir. He has no E. Perfect spacing. I didn't use my flash there because I knew I could get the kill on Pike. Ooh. I should have flashed that. If I flashed it, I actually would have killed him. Oops. Alright, second item that you're going to go uh, is going to be right here. Cosmic Drive. The main reason for this is because not only do you get ability haste, you get movement speed, HP, and ability haste. This gives you everything you need on Ari. So if you go something like a W, uh, w Max build with Leandris, what it's going to do is it's going to reduce your W cooldown by a lot. Right, it's going to go from like three, like four slain. seconds to about three seconds. And then from this point on, uh, if you look at the passive, it's called Spell Dance. Uh, damaging a champion with three separate attacks, spells, grants 15% movement speed, decaying to 5% and 40 ability power until exiting champion combat. So champion combat lasts for, I believe, seven seconds? Champion combat is seven seconds. So... If that's the case and you run Leandris, you get an additional 4 seconds on top of that. So it's 11 seconds total. Wait, I'm actually going to go for this. Wait, 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 here. Uh, okay. We don't go for that. We need, to, we need to hold this, though. He says, please, man. He's losing his goddamn mind. I need to ulti that. Okay, kill him there. Kill him here. Kill them all. Easy dub. So I specifically really like this build. Instead of going for like, uh, like, what is it called? Oh, my ulti ran out. Oops. Um, okay. So yeah, uh, I like the 40 additional AP, so it's like 105 AP plus 200, 30 ability haste, and 15, 20% uh, movement speed when you uh, are in combat. So I think overall the value for it is very high if you stay in combat longer with uh, Leandris. Uh, little Lilith, hello, Prime. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the support. Yeah, more ult plays as well, like 65 seconds, right? With 75 ability haste. Generally, what you want to be aiming for if you're gonna go for an ability haste build is 70 ability haste uh, or 67 ability haste. That's like relative to about 40 cooldown reduction back in the day. Bop. Bye. He doesn't know that I bolt here. He 
He's dead. He's also dead. Nice. He has flash, I think. I'm gonna go for it. He couldn't. He's charmed. So this is why it's also important to go E max afterwards. You see that cooldown uh, duration? Or the, the CC duration? So it goes up by 0.2. It goes up by 0.2 per second. Or per level, I mean. I helped. You're welcome, guys. Killing spree. Killing spree. There's a pike here. Uh, there's a pike in our jungle, actually. What the hell? <laughs> I think he's running up to the Akali. Like around this way? Question mark? So this is going to be your main core build. We're going to go... Uh, Lucidity is also pretty good. We got Leandry Anguish and Cosmic Drive. If you have 10 stacks on your Magi's, it's also really beneficial. Why did I do this? Okay, I'm trolling. Uh, I didn't think I had an Amplifying Tome, so I just bought another one. But if you look at the passive for Magi Soul Stealer, if you gain 10 stacks, you gain 10% movement speed as well. So overall, you're just like, this is a, what kind of build is it? It's like an in and out build, right? In and out burger build. Skirmish? Yeah, it's a heavy skirmish build. Pike right here. Our Triss win. He's pinging our team for him jumping in. He's dead. As you can see, I'm 24 stacks now. And this is generally why you don't need the uh, Rabadons. Because you can just get a f much faster spike. Right, you don't need to scale. You just go for the early mid-game spike. So that you can just snowball like this. I kind of want to play a little bit longer, so... I'm going to recall here. Your team has destroyed a turret. Did I need to do that? Nah, I think I can keep it for now. Did the last Whisper icon change? Did it? Oh, they changed some of them. Wait, Muramana looks different too. Wait, Essence Reaver looks different. Wait, they updated some items. Uh, Yeah, Last Whisper has a little bit more color. What the heck? Wait, actually though, when did they do this? Huh. Interesting. Bork too. Yeah, yeah, I saw Bork earlier and I was like... <coughs> Why does Bork look so, uh... For me? An enemy has been slain. <laughs> he said, no, fuck you. Okay, we got 25 stacks of Magi's. Goodbye, good sir. And that's how you're gonna play. Uh, RA top, if you go against a melee champion, this is what I would recommend. Airy build. Um, if you're feeling confident you can run Ignite, I would highly recommend running Teleport because a lot of the times people do not know how to track junglers. So what's going to end up happening is you're going to get cheesed or you're going to get ganked by jungler. Your wave state's going to be bad. 
uh, things like that. So, um, if you want to know the runes specifically, I will show you here. So we got uh, Airy, this is going to be your main. Got Mana Flow Band, Absolute Focus, Scorch, Minion Dematerializer, and Cosmic Insight. So you could also swap out Minion Demater uh, Dematerializer and Cosmic Insight for the Domination Tree, uh, Taste of Blood, and Ultimate Hunter. So those are the two you can replace these two with. Otherwise, I would recommend Dematerializer. Do two, two range creeps, one cannon minion. Uh, so you can get additional wave clear. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. And uh, if you guys haven't done so, be sure to subscribe to the secondary YouTube channel, uh, Legit Create Plus. This is what it's going to be going on. So if you guys are watching this from stream as well, uh, YouTube 2, exclamation mark YouTube 2, and it'll take you to that channel. That is where we're going to be pl uh, posting the full VODs. So hope you guys enjoyed this one.